going on. What up, folks? Here we go. What up, G's? It's your boy, Prophet74. Today, we're going to bring in something unique. I got these old school systems sitting here. We're going to do something that not a lot of people do. But, you know, we got the means here. Might as well start putting them to work. Some of this stuff, you know, is old. I was about to toss it. So I said, you know what? You know what makes sense? It makes sense if I built a chassis, a built-in machine, a computer in one of these systems. So I was thinking maybe I could do that and um, get it going. One of those things I've been working on and I was thinking about it. And I saw a video on it and some guy did a good job. But, you know, it still needs its work. And plus, it's kind of hard to let these two go, you know. Just they've been here with me for quite a while especially this one right here this one gave me so much good times so much good memories it's just very hard to say goodbye to this one but bitch gotta go and on top of that we're gonna we're gonna build something on it we're gonna build uh the computer in this system but before we even commence this one we're gonna take this apart and we're gonna put the motherboard inside we're gonna cut the holes in the back this back here I'm gonna put the the heat the the IO shield right here in the back coming out we can get rid of this power uh, we might build our own power supply especially with the new one I have and what well, the whole thing's falling apart is to begin it's that old that's how old it is uh, I'm gonna keep this on here go let me put it on but I'm I'm gonna put the power button in here probably just to push the button here and this thing is old damn it is freaking old what's going on guys shit so damn it's all scratched up this one gave me so much good times man you know how it goes it's just one of those things that you say to, you hate to say goodbye but it just it's a it's a it's a it's a it's an ancient item that we have you know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this this motherboard, this motherboard in here. But before that, I wanted to test the motherboard out because I bought this like a couple of days ago, and if it fails on me, I want to return it. So I'm gonna test it out first. Today we're gonna set it up in a in a in a difficult in a different machine. We're gonna put it up on a, on the separate se settings. And Kakin, see it. is that PS3 the launch model? <laughs> it's the newest PS5, man. <laughs> nah, nah. We're gonna put this motherboard in there. We're gonna make it a PC. This tiny motherboard, we're gonna put it in here. Um, I was debating either to do it on that one or to do it on this one, but I was measuring it. It's too high. See if I, let me put this on the side. Let me put this down so you guys can see the measurements. Um, I was looking at the measurements and in the motherboard, it's gonna be hitting the top of it. So that's why I decided not to do that. So if I even if I put it flat in the system, we still have the top of it that's going to be hitting here, and the the PS3 is curves. It kind of gives you more of a, a, a vantage of for the for the fan. And I'm going to drill some holes so air can come in in there, you know, because I don't want to cover it too much. Because um, but I do want to test this out today. So today you guys are going to see me set it up real quick, real fast. And, um, <laughs> yeah, this is the new PS3 launch. That's what we're going to do. We're going to set up the PS3. So we're going to build a PC in here. We're going to take this whole thing apart today. Um, you guys are going to be with me throughout the time, see we, how long it takes, and um, put it together. But I'm going to repeat it because there's a lot of people coming later on, and they're going to see it. And I'm gonna, we're going to start by removing the, this whole thing apart, all right? And first of all, let's see what kind of stuff I'm going to need. Uh, it's going to need a lot of working, a lot of loving, and a lot of supplies to take apart. I got to take all this stuff apart. I got to start here. I'm going to move the camera a little bit back too so you guys won't won't get too much of a 
of the shininess. But to start it out, it's crazy because um, I actually replaced the motherboard on this one. And um, we started here. I remember this is the hard drive. Because I remember it. It was the hard drive in here. But damn, how do you take this thing off? Uh, we're removing the hard drive. Okay. So we got to take out the hard the. Let me get a flat head here. We're going to take it apart. And hopefully we get it up and running today. I mean, not on the, um, not on the PS3. It's going to take some time. But I want to start with the... Uh, with the uh, dissembling this whole thing, you know, getting rid of this whole thing and um, making sure it works. So if you guys ever know, this is uh, where the hard drive was on the PC on um, PS3. We're gonna take the whole. We're gonna gut it out. We're gonna take the whole thing off. We're gonna take it apart. And um, I don't know what kind of hard drive I had in here. I don't even know what I had in there. I, I forgot what kind of pictures I had or music, but I remember I had a lot of shit in here. And um, damn. Oh, I gotta remove it. I gotta remove the whole screw. That's what I have to do. Yeah, but we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna reuse the case for a PC built. And there we go. There's a hard drive in here. How big of a hard drive is this? This was, uh, it wasn't that much. I remember it, but it's still usable. I'm still gonna use this sucker for something, you know? Memories are in here. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this sucker on the side. I'm not going to lose any screws in here, so I'm going to try to put everything in a box and keep it in the box or in a bag or something um, because in case something goes wrong, I ain't putting the sucker back. It's going in the trash, to be honest with you. I would, I'm just going to toss it out after. Um, there's another level here that we have to take off on the top of it. There we go. I was going to say, there we go. No, you got to take this whole thing apart detach this part and this is gives you the warning right here before you actually do it jeez it is a lot of freaking work let me see if any i remember it was it was a little difficult to take the whole thing apart but once you take out the the screws it starts coming apart but i am going to remove the i'm going to gut it out i'm going to completely gut it out and start from somewhere uh if i can remember how to open this sucker and I remember it was a side panel. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Right here. The side panel. Move this one up. Jesus, this is hard. This is a rock. So, you guys, what do you guys think of the project? If I'm taking this apart right now and having a... See, this is perfect size. Look at I'm going to measure it again so you guys can see it, how big it is compared. So, and look at the fan. It's going to be perfect right there. And I line it up. So... This this how much space I have. I have a lot, like this much space, and this is enough for where the fan. If the fan hits, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna drill a hole and let the fan come out. You know, if that's the case. But if it doesn't, then we're in business. You know, I'm gonna try to fit the whole thing. Or if not, I'm gonna replace the fan with a, a low profile fan. And uh, I do have one on its way, but it was expensive. I was gonna return it, but if it gets here, it gets here. I went to Fry's today and I bought a bunch of stuff. In fact, I brought something with me. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to take this sucker apart. And if I could remember how to take this part, I will. Oh, here it goes. This is one right here. I remember it was two detaching. This, I haven't done this for years. I mean, when was the last time I did this? Maybe when I upgraded the hard drive. I upgraded the hard drive on this system. I actually installed a, a better hard drive. Damn, I don't think I, I should have taken that. <laughs> Hold on. Let me remember how to take this apart. Damn. Did you guys ever take a PlayStation apart? Let's get, let's get all the tools ready here. Let me get a flat hit here. And start pulling it out. So what kind of projects do you guys like on, on the builds? Um, if you guys let me know. If you guys don't want me to put the chassis and use the, ch the case... Let me know. I mean, what do you guys think about it? Because I, I tend to use whatever I have available. And whatever I have available is, is this. I actually went to buy a, a case and and I changed my mind on the case. I was like, forget this. You know, I ain't going to do it because um, there was a lot of things that I didn't want to take. How the hell do you take this thing apart? Do you guys remember how to take a PlayStation apart? Jesus. Should have been more prepared, huh?
Here it is. PS3 Disassemble. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh, and they got pictures here and everything. Oh, hell yeah. Uh-huh. That's what I'm going to do. They even tell you to remove the hard drive and get rid of the hard drive. It's crazy, huh? It's one of the things I, 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 I didn't want to do, but about yeah okay all right we got it we got it so we're gonna take this whole sucker apart i guess there's some screws underneath here too and um we need to remove this item this is gonna be let me see let me take some measurements because i didn't even measure if it is gonna fit this motherboard is gonna fit in here Shit. on this part because i know it fits the motherboard fits in here it's gonna go in there but this part right here, I want to make sure that, oh yeah, we have perfect clearance for it. So I'm going to be facing the motherboard on this side. It's pretty much going to go like this. Let me see if I could, if I could remove this, you know, and do, it's going to go in the inside. It's going to go facing down. Of course, it's going to go facing down in here. And this IO shield is going to be in the back right here. So we have plenty of clearance for it. We're going to have to remove and solder some of the stuff out. And this thing's going to plug in here in the back internally. Now, to place the fan on the top, it's going to be a bitch because the fan's a little tall. It's like super tall. So I got to make sure that I find enough spacing for it. And um, one of the things I was looking for is making sure that I, I, I could... I could um, oh, here it goes. Um... get plenty of spacing i'm trying to get a picture so you guys can see how to how to um hold on how to how to what kind of video card i'm uh, not video card but what kind of fan i'm getting actually so the one thing i'm getting right now step two i removed that i did the step two already i'm ready ahead i took out that screw Kakin, what happened to that ps3 ps3 Yellow is light of death yeah, Kakin, dude, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of the PS3. We're gonna put a computer in here. We're gonna put this this PC right here on the side of it. We're gonna build a PC on the PS3, and we're gonna make it mobile so we can play some games. You know, that's what we want to do. And um, in fact, I I'm thrilled about that part of it. So um, let me see, removing the warrant. Oh, you gotta remove the warranty sticker. I don't want to do that. I don't want to remove the warranty sticker. Oh man, it's still under warranty. So you got to remove this sticker here. Got to remove the sticker. I guess there's a there's a hole in there. Yep, that's why. And then you got to bring this thing down. Take it out. There it is. And inside is a star. Damn. Do I even have a star? Shit. Oh, you know what? I do. I have a star right here. Ah, thank God I have another. Thank God I have this cheesy ass toolkit <laughs> to use. So we're gonna take this whole thing apart. Oh, let's see if I have the star here. If it fits, and it's just not any star. If you guys want to know? It's a crazy. It it has that circle in, and it has that little blockage. So let me see if I can put the camera in there and put some lighting so you guys can see it. Let's see. Let me see if I can even see it in there. So I'm gonna put the lighting in there. In, in the hole right there. You see the hole right there? Uh, I don't think you can see it there. Now you can't see it, but it's going to be a little bit impossible to remove it. It has a star and it has a centerpiece. Um, we might be blocking out completely. So I don't have the right tool. I do have it somewhere in my toolkit. I just got to find it. You know what? I got it. I got it. I got it. I do have it. I got to go get it. That's the only thing. So, I'm going to have to leave for a minute, for a minute, for a minute. Do you guys mind holding on for a minute? And then um, I'm going to go get the toolkit so we can open this up. You guys, you guys are cool because I, I got my toolkit in my car and that's what I'm going to do. Let me go get it right now so we can get it started. All right. All right. It's live. We're live. So we're going to get the toolkit. Jax, get here. All right, good boy. All right, here I am. 
coming back. Ah, there's a token. Ah, finally. Whew. Jax, come here, Jax. All right, so let's find the, find the right tool. Jax, get your butt over here. Jesus, dog. That dog. Whew. We're gonna see if we got the right tool. Stop running away. You're not going to go anywhere. I don't know. I think I have bad news. I don't think I have the right tool. But that's why I have plan B ready for you guys. You guys ready for plan B? <laughs> so it turns out that you need that star with the center piece missing so you could grab onto it. And I don't have the none of the freaking. You know what? I should just drill a stupid hole in there and get rid of that stupid screw. That's what I'm going to do. I don't need anything in there. I need to gut it out. That's what I need to do. Let me see if I could actually remove some of it. That screw's going to be a pain in the ass. It's a star. And it's not going to turn. Oh, you know what? I do have something. I forgot about that. Needle nose pliers will do it. Also, another grip will do it. Let me see if I could get rid of that one. Yeah. This is going to do it. It's going to be a little hard, a little difficult to do some of the stuff, but I'm going to build the chassis in here, and I want to do it with this system, but it's a pain in the ass. I mean, what do you guys think of a PlayStation becoming um becoming a, a case? I mean, for you, you guys out there, I mean, it's one of those things that it depends on who you ask about it and how you want to use it. So I'm not going to remove these parts. I'm going to keep them here. And I want to make sure I could take the right part off. Oh, it's turning. It's turning. I got it turning. All right. I just need a little tiny hand here. Stagger, you're there. Stagger, if you're there. I need <laughs> When I say little tiny hand, that's, that's messed up, man. Why are, you messing with, why are you messing with your cousin like that, man? Here it goes. It's moving. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Twist it. Twist. It's twisting. It's tightening. I, mean, I don't want to break my tool, man. That's the thing. Oh, you know what? If I break the centerpiece, maybe if I do that. Ah, oh, damn it. Did I break it? No, I didn't. So this piece is holding off the shield. That's what it is. And once you remove the shield, you remove all the screws. And right now, I don't have that stupid screwdriver that has a flat center piece. Shit, I should have got that and brought I do have it. I just don't even know where to start from, you know? You know what? I do have another toolkit in here. I got like 20 toolkits, and I don't have that stupid screwdriver. The flathead. It's not a screwdriver. It's a star. That sound chair is now following. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for coming, man. Thank you very much, and welcome to the show, man. So we're going to remove everything. We're going to gut this. I'm going to set up this computer in here. But today, before we even do that... Sound chair. Love watching this. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. We're going to modify this one, man. And what we're going to do is remove this. But before we do that, I want to test the equipment now. I want to test out the computer out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the side for now. And we're going to get this computer up and running. I want to, because if this is no good, I got to return it. So it's been sitting here for a couple of days. So I got to start on the build today. And lucky enough that I bought a lot of equipment today for you guys. So you guys can see it. I got some new stuff. So let's start with the new stuff first. Why don't we start? Look what I got. Another one. This is a really good one, but I, you know, thermal paint, thermal, you know, thermal take is really good. It's really good, but it's expensive. Just to let you guys know, you know, sometimes so and especially today, I actually went to the store and I wanted to purchase memory. It was over a hundred dollars. Sound to, chair. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. Sound chair. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Sound chair. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Well, that's good, sound chair. I'm glad you like the audio. Yeah. Now we're gonna. There's a way you can test these out. I'm gonna show you guys how to test them out without even plug them into the computer. So when you purchase something like this, uh, we're gonna turn it on here for you guys and and power it up, of course. Now the only thing I don't like is that it's it, everything's together like this. I hate this. I, I I didn't like this. The fact that it's all one piece, you know. 
It's just not a very good item when they make it on one piece. I want it detachable because you can't hide these and you have to pretty much put them somewhere. But the, look at this. It's a R RGB 700 watts. All right, we're going to turn it on today. And before we even turn it on, I'm going to show you guys how to turn it on. So I don't like to play with electricity, but we're going to put it on a wood stat. And we're going to connect it right now to see if it turns on with power. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it, how to electrify yourselves, how to get it going. But first, let me take a selfie. Let me look for my tools. I don't want to get electrified here. And um, these things are, are not difficult to do. Damn, but I got so much shit in my, my stuff here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Now, if you ever guys want to do something like this and test it out, test the power out and making sure if it even works. In fact, I have another one here that we're going to test out too. This is one way you can do it. Uh, you have to use the pins, all right? Two pins crossing over together. Let me see if I can put it on this camera here on this guy. So you guys can see it the two pins cross over here and it's it, it you, there's instructions online to do it all right and then and, and don't don't try this on home and don't try it if you don't know what to do but they do have to be blocked all right and in the back you can see that they're coming out in here the two pins are being uh, being attached to each other that's the only way this thing turns on thinking that it's it's a computer on and the only way it's going to turn on if you plug this into the actual power source here somewhere in one of these suckers here on this one right here see how it is it you have to match it up make sure it matches up see see the matching up you got to make sure that it's correct which i was incorrect right now i'm gonna plug it in come on plug in here it goes plug it in so it's plugged in you see how you plug it in like that now we need to do is power this sucker up and that's it in 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 i just got to make sure that None of my shit touches any metal. <laughs> it's not like the Verge, right? Uh, don't, don't, don't. It's not going to electrify. But you know what? It could right now because of this this run runoff I have here. So we're going to test the power up. We're going to test the power. See if it even turns on, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in right behind me and run. Well, actually, I have another cable here, which is good. All right. Let's plug this sucker in. You guys ready? You guys ready? Let's do this. Um, there it goes. See that? It's powering on automatically. You could test it out. You could test all your equipment out this way. Now, let me turn off this light here. That's cute. Let me turn off this light too. So this is not bad. It's coming out from the actual fan that's in the power and it's changing. RGB is changing. You could turn it off here. There's a button here. That you could turn it off or change it or change the modifications on it and it's this one's let me give you guys a name it is called a smart rg r r i'm sorry rgb 700 watts all right so this Talking, is how you, you make the verge look like super novice amateurs <laughs> thank you sir thank you sir so this is one way you could actually test your power supply Anytime you purchase this power supply, or if you connect, up, if you set up a computer and you don't know what what's not working, start here with the power supply. So let me turn this sucker off right now. Ah! Just kidding, man. <laughs> Anyways, all you have to do is let me turn it back on. Like, I like to do that once in a while, especially in front of people. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to start again here. So on this part, this is how you create a, another one. And I'm going to show you something else too. So I'm going to unplug this one. All right. We're going to put this on the side. This is brand new. I just opened it up right now. It runs really good. So I don't have to return it. And I'm going to show you something that failed on me once. And, and I think it's the power supply. This is a perfect example. I'm going to bring it over. It's right here. Oh, here we go. Are oh, you guys? All right. This one right here. I like this one. I really like this one. It's 850 watts on this one. The only problem is that it failed on me. And I couldn't test it out, but now we could. So we don't know if it's the power supply or if it was the motherboard. If this thing turns on, that means it was the motherboard. All right. Um, if this doesn't turn on, it was the power supply. This is one way you could test your items out too. If you ever have problems, you know, 
and I suggest you guys you guys could buy this online or make it yourself they sell these on these these components I don't even know what they call them all right they're pretty much the motherboard inputs all right uh, I'm gonna be like the verge it's it's a thingy it's a thingy I'm gonna call it a thingy <laughs> anyways you you have you could do this yourself or you could buy this already built already people actually made the modifications if you're afraid of that um, you could do this so all you have to do is put a pin on it and, and then place it in there but you got to do on the right one right let me see if you guys can see it right here if you guys want to take a screenshot of it how it looks this is how it does all right so the instructions are online too I'll put a link to it if later on the line so you guys can see how to ch how to make one of these all right so today we're gonna test this one out this one failed on me but I don't know if it was this thing that failed on me or if it was the actual motherboard and um, I still have the motherboard here but I haven't had time to test the motherboard out and I'm hoping that it was this because I like the motherboard I really like the motherboard so we're gonna power it up and I put it on over wood you know because like the verge says you know you don't want to get electrified anyways we'll plug it in uh, let me make sure it's off first and the way I do it okay that it was on all right so I'm gonna plug it in it's on so I'm gonna turn it on right now and if this turns on that means it was the mother it, it, it was a motherboard all right and if it doesn't turn on look at that whoa it turned on it freaking turned on that means this thing works that means the motherboard failed on me on one of the systems so for that I'm not gonna use this one I'm gonna use this one this is a really good one I like this one better than the other ones it's 850 watts on this one of nothing but power on this I like this part of it right so I'm gonna turn it off now and um, still going it's cooling off the whole thing it's not turning off what's going on oh there it is all right so we got it working we know that this is the, the problem it was the motherboard so that's one way you could test all these things out this is a great tool to have because every time something fails on the computer don't panic you know test things out you know remove one of the memories you know run it with one memory only remove um you don't know what it could be when you're building a computer it could be a cpu it could be the gpu it could be the the video card i mean the gpu is the video card it could be this this is important it could be the the actual power power is mostly it fails a lot of times i've seen more power failures than anything else because of the uh either moisture or something happened to it or it fell wrong or something but in this case i'm glad that this works that means i could reuse this one i actually like this one way better than the new one i bought but this is eight this is an overkill for this system this is 850 watts that appear power that i'm not going to use the other one's 700 so we're gonna go ahead and build that right now in your faces in your faces and we're gonna see if we could get it up and running today and uh i i'm not gonna do a nice job of building this we're just gonna put it together right now and see if we could get it running so at least i don't have to return the motherboard and i have this system here that's been sitting here for quite a while it's it's just bare bones and let me get let me remove all this stuff out of the way here i don't want to damage some of the stuff here let's put it down here and we're going to find that tool too uh, how to let's start with this first so i have this case this old case it's an old case right? and i'm gonna put it here together so you guys can see it it's not new all right let me put this on the top so you guys can see it it's not new but it does a job let me see if it is it does the job and now i i just want to make sure i get it up and running with the motherboard because i don't want to return the motherboard and if it, do, if it doesn't work right now we're not even going to put it together we're just going to put it and turn it on if it turns on on me we have we're in business i want to plug it in as fast as i can and do it as fast as fast as we can do it all right so we're not gonna let make it look pretty. We're gonna just put it together right now and make sure that the motherboard works because the motherboard is not gonna go in this case. It's gonna go on the PS3 case, right? That we have, the build that we're gonna do it. But it, to be honest with you, I bought this motherboard a couple of days ago and I wanna make sure that it is working and I wanna test it out first before I even put in the case of the PlayStation. And I wanna make sure that I don't mess up the motherboard or anything happens 
prior to setting it up and uh, uh, just a, a, as a test um, to confirm it's working. So right now we're going to go ahead and set this up. And this is simple. I'm not even going to put the OS shield, the iOS shield at all. We're just going to get it up and running right now. That's what I want. So we need to put it as fast as we can. And this one's already has a pre setups already. If you guys see them. Let me see if I could get the camera in there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Get that close up in there. And that's how we're going to set them up. We're going to just have a couple of connections, four of them if we can. Get the mother power going and, and then um, get it up and running. So we want to test it out and make sure it runs today. At least. At least that's my goal, right? So let's go ahead and do that real quick and test it out. Like I said, it's not going to go on this case. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you something, a secret that I like to do. So the hardest part of the motherboard is putting these suckers together, these jumpers. These jumpers are, are a little difficult. They're always a little difficult setting them up. If you guys see that, you know, and, and the thing is when you have the motherboard out, take advantage of it, start plugging it in. And then you could do that. You don't need any static free crap or anything like that. Just, just go wait, just go out, all out. And if you can't even see this stuff here, it, because it is a little difficult. If you see the colors, let me see if I could put it in this camera here. It is, it's color coordinated. But you can't even see what belongs to what. Now, I'm not a professional, right? I don't like to say I am. I always use the manual for some of these things, all right? So if I'm going to plug in this sucker up and have the po right power, because I can't even read. It's not even legible, to be honest with you. But it gives you color coordination. So let's go ahead and get the colors going. Let's get the manual here. And see how do we plug that sucker in the jumpers. Uh, now the jumpers are a little difficult sometimes because you got to go through the pages but there's one page that tells you exactly where what color is what and I think I found it in here and in one reality is that the power is the CPU oh here it is here it is power one one through ten so one through ten jumpers that means uh one power is the six pin we got to go to the six pin for the power. Um, number two, power seven. So six and seven have to be taken by the power, right? So you have to start from one end to the other. So what you got to find is find the location and you got to point it out exactly where what's number one and number two. Right now, let me see if I could put the book manual here. The manual's telling you, let me see if I have it on that. The manual, I mean, uh, the manual's telling you that the last pin that's missing is it should be number nine and ten is the top one so if you guys go to your motherboard and it tells you the nine pin nine pin it should be this way which is the nine pin there and it should be going that way so we got pin number nine pin number ten pin nine and ten are the last ones right here with the purple and gray so we're gonna have to start the power the power should be in should be, let me see, if I'm here this way, shit, it's upside down somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, start the other way. You have to start the other account down. It's, it's, it's down. Jax, 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 come here. Stay here. Stop fighting. The dog's fighting with somebody else. Stay here. My dog's a little getaway sometimes hey right there where I can see you there you go so it's it's, it's gonna be the pins that we're gonna talk about it's right here they're one two they're all in order okay so we got them all in order right now and nine and ten so we we, we got this it's the white ones right here if you guys see them USB panel goes in here HD LDD lights and it tells you really fine little lines you can't even read them it's one of those things that you can't even see them from here, but I always like to start there. Jax, come here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six and seven right here. Power. Okay, so let's start with the power. Power should be LED plus and LED negative. We start with the plus and the negative. There's a power reset. 
I always start with the jumpers. They're the hardest things you can do, man. LED lights. And this is power. Here it is. So power should be the top one. Here's power six and seven. We cover six and seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we got power. Six and seven. Oh no. Seven is ground. I'm sorry. Six. Let me see. Six is gonna be power. Six is power. So where is six? One. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six. This is power right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the red one is power. Okay, one is ground, one is not. Okay. So that's power right there. Six, seven. Seven's gonna be ground, which we have a ground. Where's the ground at? Ground four. Okay, seven is ground. Got it. Okay, we got ground. Now we have USB, ground two, ground three. Mm -hmm. Pin number two. Okay, now number two is gonna be on HD, HD one and HD, okay. So here, LED, and here's the hard drive right here. The blue one should be negative, okay, negative and positive, okay. And the top one is pled, okay, okay. So here, and the other one is negative and positive. I didn't see that, you can't see it from here. So I have positive and negative, okay. Positive is one on that side, positive is on this side. Here we go, positive on one side. A negative on the other side we're doing this on the fly just to let you guys know you know it's just quick now I want to confirm the connection which is power I got the power ready um, now it tells me reset button the reset button goes on the bottom Jax you're still here so here it is it's all set up already should be it should burn the whole damn shit as soon as we turn it on, all right? Jax. Jax. Okay, I wanted to see my dog. There he is. So here it is. Remember, yesterday we put in the, the hard drive. It's ready to go, the hard drive. Today we're going to put a memory stick and get them up and running today. Uh, we're going to put the 2600. We didn't even spend too much money on them. But first, let's tie it down. Make sure it runs, all right? Now, on top of that, we're going to put in the power on here. Oh, before we forget, we got to plug these suckers in too. Shit, I forgot about this one. So on this one right here, it's these are simple. These are very simple, very simple to connect. Now this one's the audio, HD audio, and you have to find it. If I don't even have it, probably won't even put it on, to be honest with you. But in this case, I do have it, which is one of these brackets. Let's put it in the USB. USB goes in here, and, it, and you can't go wrong on the USB. There's a little nut missing or a little, it has a little connection there so you got to go in there plug it in and it's because so small and so tiny I would I would do this at the end but I don't want to put I got big old sausage fingers that I'm gonna mess up the thing you know to be honest with you and then the HD audio this part I can't even find it on the damn motherboard it's not even in here unless they don't need it well we're not gonna put this shit on <laughs> <laughs> actually i found it it's right here it's in the back it's hidden it's way in the back and the only way you can find out is because it's missing a pin in the center and it does say hd but it's like really really small you can't even see it like this motherboard is not natural to be this small because it's made for like there we go so it's all connected um i don't want to i'm gonna clean it up but right now we don't even need a motherboard we're gonna put the cpu in a bit and we're gonna put the fans too. So look at look how much space it has in there. There's not enough space in there. And we, we are gonna plug in a fan too. So let's plug in this sucker here. And see that? There's a fan for right here for the CPU fan. There's another one, another connection here and there. There's a couple of them right here. So you know what? I'm gonna use this one for the CPU. We're gonna use this one over here for this fan, the external fan. And we are in business for now. There, that's simple. 
really tiny small hard drive that we're gonna test out just today just to, to run it and make sure it's running and we're gonna take take this one off after and we're gonna put it together with the with the other one but you know what before I even do that I, I like to keep I want to put the CPU on let's go ahead and put the CPU on if I could find that CPU somewhere in here we could get it started right now CPU where are you at where are you at CPU RTD2 oh. oh I found I found it found it okay let's get it together so we don't need the motherboard no more we don't need the motherboard instructions we've got that clear already we we're gonna put the CPU on this is the CPU we're gonna test out the fan like I said I want to get the sucker up and running right now immediately and take it apart after and go to the next step and the next step. so I'm not gonna be like the verge and static free get those static I do have a static bracelet but you know this is an expensive shit I don't really care to be honest with you I'm just gonna put the sucker in but be prior to that I gotta make sure that the CPU is gonna fans are actually gonna fit in Cockeen, remember to smother that CPU in thermal paste oh yeah definitely and there it is there I licked it perfect thermal paste you, you spit on your hands you spit it so hard so when you get the electricity and you put your finger in there you're good you're good all right nah, I'm just kidding man <laughs> so we're gonna put the CPU but be prior to that I got to prepare it first so if you guys see the the let me show you guys uh, on this part it's perfect angle for to 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 set up the CPU over these things but before that we got to remove these brackets in here of course uh, this is part of the, the the this this will not fit in there so because when this falls in there it's gonna hit those things but we're gonna have to remove them so the only way is to take them apart take them off and I don't like to do it with this one where's my other screwdriver oh, oh, oh. there it is this is my favorite screwdriver I mean I had this one for many years and it's just like I, I I continue to use it I lose parts here and there from it but it is worth it like um hold on, I need a bigger fat I need a fatter one yep I'm gonna need a fatter one mr. fat man here Jack stay here my dog man he, he, I should have put him in the house instead of but he's a good dog he just Checks me out all the time, man. He watches me. So I'm going to remove this one. And remove this one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. And you see that? It's a little loose. There it is. You see the brackets in there? I, I don't think I'm going to need this one. I think I have enough spacing, but we're going to test it out. Now, you know what? It's, that's not going to work. I have to remove them. So, um, yeah, because if you guys notice when you guys, the seep, the, the thermal paste that's already on, it's going to it's gonna hit unless it was twisted this way. And even if it was that way, it's not made for that. So you got to remove the whole thing and just plug in directly with the CPU. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to remove both of them. And we, we got to keep these parts because if the motherboard doesn't work, I got to return this sucker. Yeah, it was a hundred dollars, hundred and ten dollars, but they were giving you a twenty dollar mail rebate right now for this motherboard, which is not a bad deal. But sometimes, you know, you gotta be careful with what you're buying if you don't know about them. And like I said, this is gonna be a retro system. It's a retro gaming system, and I'm pretty much just gonna play old school games on this one. I'm not gonna play any anything fancy or anything new. Yeah, we could probably play some PUBG on it who knows we're gonna test it out see how how much we could we could push the limit so right now I just want to get it started I don't even want to go with the cabling and cleaning it up and all that crap so let's go ahead and get the cable the parts for this one which I have all the parts I'll tell you something man they didn't even give you screwdrivers they even give you screws on the damn motherboard they don't give you any screws they say good luck here you go so lucky enough, I, I was able to buy a box. If I could find it. Oh, here it is. 
Damn, I bought this box today of extra screws. And we're, we're going to see if we could, you know, set them up right now. We're going to line it up into the, at least tie in one or two, at least to get it up and running today. Let's see how well it works. But first, I need a, a knife. I need to open my, my grandma gave me this. How do you guys like this one? Look at that. She goes, mijo, here you go. Go cut your fingers. Go cut your fingers, he said. So I was like, okay, grandma. Here he goes. I might cut my fingers here for making fun of it, shit, you know? <laughs> this is sharp. It is sharp. There he goes. The plastic's out. The tape's out. And push this in. Damn, why did it make it childproof, man? <laughs> here he goes. We got the screws in. I got the. I'm gonna use the copper, the the silver ones here, the flat ones, because they're a little bit more. They have a low profile on them, and you could use the. You could even use these, right? There's a couple of them that you could use, but I like the. Let's see if they even fit, you know. And what I do, I test them out first. I like them to look nice, you know. You could always test them out here first, you know, on a separate one, and that means it's gonna fit and it's gonna have a low profile. So today, I, like I said, I want to. Uh, this is a fast build. We're gonna test it out today and get it going. I'll put the memory right now. I just don't want it out of my way right now. So one side. We get another one, another one. Get it going, and we're gonna see on the other side, which is on this end, I think. Are you sucker? Here it is. So we're just gonna put two today. This is not how you build a computer, guys. All right. Like I said, I, I'm gonna repeat it again. I just want to test it out. I'm not doing the verge. I just want to get the sucker tested today. And I don't want to be able to return something next week that I can't. You know, and my warranty is running out, so I gotta make sure that everything I purchase has to work and i do want to test this out but without touching the thermal paste of course and it's going to go here and it's going to be fit perfect but look at this we're missing something we are missing something we're missing the actual heads that go in the bottom of it and hopefully it has them see yeah we're gonna to have to put that in place and when i put it in there it's not touching it but i still need to go in there Shit. We're definitely going to have to put them in there. Yep. We're going to have to put a base on it. It needs to have a base on it. And the only way it's going to be able to work. Let me see if the, it's in the box. Maybe it's it's in there. I didn't even see if it even came in there. The bracks or bracket. There's a damn box I had here. Oh, here it is. So, unfortunately, they don't give you that part. And see how it comes with the extra larger larger hole i don't want to do that i don't want to place this thing sucker because there's no way it's going to grab from the other side but i do have a solution for it it's a really ingenious one let me test it out first and i'm gonna tell you how it works all right don't try this at home but we're going to test it out right now if this works we on business yeah they didn't give you the last piece but I got a solution for it. First, let me see if it goes in here. Yep, it's not gonna work. Damn it. Don't they give you that shit in the motherboard? Usually they do. And it's not even in here. Oh, damn it. I should have checked the box. I hate when they give you shit like that that's not in finish. But it's okay. No panic. We got this cover. Remember that little box I told you I bought? This box has a lot of stuff in here that we're going to see what works in here and what doesn't. So let's go ahead and see if we could find a miracle out of this. And I think we found one or two, but we're going to test it out, see if it works. This is a problem right here. A problem. 
Oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, no, no, it's not going to work. Shit. Let's see what's in the bottom of it, man. I plugged it in already, and that's not going to work. Where's my favorite tool? Jeez, I'm, I'm disorganized, guys. Uh, here we go. Oh, this one came from the back. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Hell yeah, it was in there all along. Here it is. You see that? I dropped it by accident. It was in the bottom of it. I was like, oh my god, it's not going to work. But the theme was in there. Oh, I almost panicked. I almost had a heart attack. I was like, no way they give me that without the damn theme. It was right there in the bottom. As soon as I moved in top. So there it is right there. We're going to all go ahead and open it up first. All right. We're going to open this. Make sure there's a hair in here. What the hell? Make sure there's nothing. In... All right. So I'm not going to hold it on. We're just going to put in the CPU right now. And then we'll put this bracket back in there. Let me not mess it up. Let me keep it on the side here. Here's the bracket that is belong in the back, dude. It, it kind of fell. As soon as I unplugged the other pieces of it, it fell apart. But you know what? I'm glad it did because it, I, I gave me a shit attack that it wasn't included. And we're going to test it out, see if it, see, see if they even match, you know? Yeah, they're going to match and they even tie in together. So if you guys see it, this is how it keeps it together. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the side. We're going to go ahead and um, put the CPU in here. And of course, the CPU, there's a little arrow on these. But on the on the, on the these right here, the AMD, normally there isn't, you know. Look at this. They give you a book. They give you a sticker, a Pokemon sticker, and you're set. All right. Let's get this CPU. Oh, this one has a lot of pins. You guys, it doesn't have the... This is not like an Intel, right? The new Intels. This is actually has bendable pins, so you got to be careful on this. And you got to find the right arrow here. And here's the arrow pointing out right here. On the corner, it's facing that way. So on this location, you got to actually find the arrow. And the arrow is pointing on this direction here. There we go. So the arrow's right there. You guys see it? I don't know if you guys see it from here. That's it. Let me see if I can put in the camera in here. Can you guys see the arrow? It's right here in the corner. There's an arrow right there. So you place this down right in the arrow. All right, it's down on the arrow completely. Don't, don't squish it, right? You don't have to. All you have to do is bend it this way and it automatically lock in itself, right? It's locked in. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, we're not gonna put thermal paste on it because the actual fan has it already. So now we could commence the other part of it, which we send the, bra the bracket to the back. We send it to the back. Make sure it's in there. Okay, there's the bracket. I'm gonna hold it with my hands because I need to tie it down. And I need to, I'm going to have to do this with one hand. There it goes. Now the fan, I do want to point it that way so I could tuck in the, 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 here's one, here's two. So now, I wish I had another hand. Uh, where's my tool? <laughs> Anyways, I have one here somewhere in there. What it's, what's wrong, boy? Billy fell in the wall again? Hold on, guys. Dog's telling me something. Jax, come here. Yeah, dogs do talk, man. They, you look at them, and they're like... he's. Oh, it's, I know what it is. Not right now. Later. Later. Later, later, later. No, no. Later. I know what he wants. He wants to take a walk. <laughs> That's what he wants. So here's my tool. I'm going to start tying it down on one side at least for now. And then let me do the other one. Sure it grabs on sometimes it's better to put this right before the actual motherboard goes on because to be honest with you it is hard from here from this angle 
but we got it mounted in there and we're locking it in right now make sure it's at least in there nice and snuggy <laughs> um, there was that's when you hear that little twerk that's it all right so it's not going anywhere but I forgot something major important thing this thing look at my big sausage fingers how they're gonna get over there easy I'll tell you how like this so, ah. Ah. almost 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 there we go there we go got it got it ah, come on get in there bitch get in there okay there we go Jesus I just struggle on that one anyways we got that going in there all right we're gonna move this over here this is the actually we can't even move this sucker shit you know what this is this is a cable that belongs all the way to the power supply in the front of this the USB that is a crappy tower they have man this is an old tower right just to let you guys know it's not new nothing new oh this is this is horrible I don't like this I don't like this at all see how it goes over it, it sh we should have gone through underneath so we can do that. We can always change it. But that means I have to take that stupid motherboard. But right now, we just want to get it up and running. Screw it. Leave it alone. What do you think? Leave it alone? Leave it alone for now. We'll get it up and running. That's all I want. Just let's get it up and running. So we'll put the we'll put the old power supply. The old one was better. Because it's a lot faster to do it. That's it. It fits perfectly. We're fine. As long as it works, I'm in business. So, here's a little difficult part right here. Now, we have two different splits right here. There's another part right here that goes in here in the motherboard, and then we have this one. This is actually for the motherboard right here. We're going to go in there. Oh, shit. This is going to be a little hard right there. These big, giant sausage fingers. Hopefully, they fit. Maybe I should take it off and then... Oh, damn it. This is going to be harder than I expected. Here it goes. It's because it's the old school one. See that? It used to, it takes apart, it comes apart. It's not something that it's together properly. And we want to test it out. That's all I want to do. Test it out. Shit. Fuck it. We're going to take it apart. We're going to plug it in. We're gonna make sure it's plugged and then we'll send the cables through the back might as well people make mistakes all the time I do it all the time but they're simple mistakes to fix to be honest with you you know they're not that bad now in this case I could send this sucker all the way to the back but there's a weight it's not gonna hit it's, it's going to hit. So, on this case, I could send this to the back. And it will be through there. But then, there's not enough. No, there's not enough clearance. You have to send it through there. So, I'm sending this to the front for now. We're just testing it out. Plug it in. Plug it in. And get it going. I just want to make sure that we have good connection. Good valid connection. And if we're good. Once we do that, we could turn this sucker off. And start with the PlayStation. Gutting the PlayStation. go I hate this old one that the new ones the new ones they, they break apart because they don't come together you have to uh, one of them has to be underneath the other one here it goes like that there we go plug it in plug it in plug it in plug it in there now we're gonna keep the cables as we are right now because like I said we're testing it out we just want to get a good circuit going and Lug the sucker in and get it up and running. So that's all I want. I want this sucker to run. I don't want to return it. I don't want to go back to the store and say it doesn't work. 
That's why I prefer testing it out now than later. There we go. It's hard when you're doing a live stream on this because I don't like to show my mistakes, but you know what? It's best if you do so you won't do them. And especially on this motherboard, it's so tiny that everything is like piled in there and shit, you know? Now, ah, oh, <laughs> we forgot one right here. And this is, of course, you know, it's right here. But it's okay. It's okay. We're right here. We're right here. This one, we don't have to struggle. But this piece of shit is the only thing that doesn't hold on together. Here we go. Damn, I got to stand up for this one. Okay, here we go. Come on. Don't let me take the mother bra. Come on, get in there. There we go. Damn it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Finally. Jesus. Got it going. Got it in there. Make sure all the plugs are plugged. And we're good. I know it looks messy. But what do we want? We're going to get this sucker up and running right now. That's all I want. I want a light turned on. I want the fan to turn on. And... What are we missing? You guys got to see what are we missing. Come on. Under all this mess, what are we missing? Something very important. I'm not going to tell you, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them on right now before I forget. So Let's go ahead. It's a memory, fools. Am I in the right angle? No, it's on the other side. Put, we're going to put the memory in today. One... They're the same, but one doesn't have a brace, so relax, guys, all right? Yeah, this one belongs to the other way. Here we go. Damn it. I'm doing it on a bad angle, that's why. Here it goes. There we go. So we got, we got everything up. We got everything, the memory, the hard drive. Now, I want to see if this boots up real quick. Let's go ahead and boot it up. Get it going. If it's successful, then we could turn it off and put it on the side and say it works. And then we could dis we could dismantle again and put it on the PlayStation chassis. But we got to take that PlayStation chassis apart first. Let me put these back together here. So let's try the for the first time. Let's turn it on. I have anything loose? Am I missing a cable? Do I have another cable loose here? What is this? What is this from? This is for fan. These are the extra fans. We're not gonna turn them on. We don't need them. We're just gonna start this shit up and get it up and running right now. So let me plug in the monitor. Monitor, where are you? There's the monitor. We don't need this. We got this. Alright, let's get the HDMI plugged in. Alright, moment of truth. Let's turn it on real quick if it works. We're in business. We can turn it off and we can call it a day for this one. We're going to take those parts and use them for the PlayStation. Clean it up after. But right now, that was a quick installation, not a guide. It's just don't don't take my advice on some of the shit I did. I did it real quick, so you guys could. I wanted to test it out, just for me, my purpose for me. So let's go ahead and turn on the TV. Plug in a keyboard. Get it up and running. Keyboard, TV's on. Yep, TV's on. Okay, we got the TV on. Now we got the power supply. We're gonna plug it in now. Oh, oh I didn't even, I didn't even tie that shit in. <laughs> Let's just get it up and running. There we go. Got the power. I'm not gonna tie it up. I just want to get this up and running. And power, power, power right here in the front. I can't reach it. Here we go. Ah, oh, oh, damn it.
it. Let me go around it. Here we go. Where's the park part? I forgot where it was. Oh, in the front. No, that's not the power. No, not the power. I think I broke the power button. Yeah, I broke the power button, guys. Shit, I don't have the power button for this team. Nope, it's not turning on because there's no power button. But also, let's do this too. Let's pick up this memory. turned on right now there we goes oh shit I guess I had the wrong power plug over here so it's turning on if you guys see that we got success real quick in a matter of how many minutes let's see if it comes up right now if it's successful we should get a signal out there fans working this fans working there it is. But I was expecting an error because it has an OS on it. So that's fine. We're going to go ahead and reboot and go to the BIOS. Reboot. If I can reach the button. Okay, F. Come on. It has an OS on it. That's why I got to reboot. But it's working. It is working. It is jamming. Look at that shit. Proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Really good. We got we got it up and running real quick. Ah, damn it! I can't I can't get rid of the OS. I forgot I had the OS in there. Let me reboot it again. And F2. Turn it on. Am I pushing the right button? Pushing the right button, huh? Let's see. One of them. Come on, turn on. Alright, here it goes. Unplug it. Plug it back in. Boot it up. If I could see the stupid buttons. Hold on. Something just got disconnected. Did I disconnect this one? Here it goes. As soon as the keyboard lights up, we are in business. There it is. Now, crank this sucker up. It's coming up. There we go. And I forgot that it takes a bit to boot up before. On the power. Damn, it keeps coming to the same damn thing. This is if I could go and change it to. I want to see the startup. We're going to do F8. Enter. Escape. Nothing. Reboot. It's going to shut off on me because Gigabyte does that. It, do it shuts off for the first time and then it takes a while for it to process to the battery. The battery boots it up after and you should be in business. See how it's lighting up? It means it's active. But because I had an OS on the damn hard drive, I didn't remove it. I need to clean it up. So right now it's trying to recover itself. Let's see if I can unplug this and plug it in somewhere else. There we go. Recovery. Your PC needs to be repaired. I know that. Because of the BIOS. 
Get me out of here. There you go. Come on. F2, 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 F2. Come on, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, keep going. Damn, boot up, boot up. They just shut down on me. But give it a second. Give it a couple minutes. Don't panic. It's part of it. Panic after. When that shit doesn't want to come on. But we have a good light. Good green light came on. Everything came looks good. The keyboard's still on. You guys see that? The keyboard is still on. It's trying to recover right now. Everything turned off in here, but the keyboard is active. That means the computer shut itself down because it couldn't fix itself, but it's fine. There we go. It's starting. I'm going to see if I could get it to the boot screen. Come on, come on, come on. Get me to the boot screen. No, nah, not the blue screen of death. I knew that. I'm going to reformat this hard drive. It's going to crash on me again anyways. We got it working. We got it up and running. It's a success. I'm going to go ahead and uh, format the hard drive first. Gamers Union. Hey. Hey, what's up, Gamers Union? We just missed a quick five-minute installation on this because we're going to put this in the PlayStation 3 um, chassis. We're actually going to take this hard drive and this thing. I just wanted to test everything out make sure it works. I got the screen right behind me. It's working. You missed a good show. You know, I messed up a couple of times, but here we got it. Tonight. Tonight, I'm going to be playing um, Ring of Elysium. If you guys like that game, it's a really good game. Um, the, the, it's been it's out now. It's available. It's free. And it's for PC right now only. So the whole goal is like a it's a, like a PUBG game, all right? It's the same thing like Gamers a Gamers Union, when you setting OBS for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Oh, you want me to do that? I can do that. I, I can set something Gamers up Gamers Union, video. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I could do one for the PC, for the PS3, PS4 actually, and um, show you guys how to do that part. But right now I'm trying to boot up from, let me see if I can get it to boot. I need a better angle of the bar button. Gamers Union, yes. I can do that. See the power came on, everything's good. I just gotta get it to the, off that window. I'm trying to change the window, but it's- Gamers Union. Thanks. No problem, brother. I, I can do that. I can set you up on because somebody asked me for the same thing. So I'll start doing that today. And we'll set. Um, I'm not going to do the video until probably over the weekend, to be honest with you. So let me turn this sucker off, man. Let me turn it off from here. I could do it. I need to restart it. I need to go F2 or delete the delete button. I think it's the delete button on this motherboard. Where is it? Gamers Union, I'm not good at this LOL. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to be. Um, you know, neither was I when I first started. You know, things, things happen to people. So come on, turn on. There we go. All right. This thing's supposed to be spinning. It is powering on. We got it powered, but the OS is killing messing me up because of the... It thinks it it's it thinks it's gonna reboot. Gamers Union, yeah, LOL. Yeah, hey, so I saw your posts for the two. You got two hundred subscribers now. I see. Is two hundred and something, two hundred and six. Good job, man. Great job. Keep it going, man. You know, um, some of the stuff. That's how you start, man. Hustling. You're hustle. You're a hustler. That's how you hustle. That's how you get your way out of things. You know, which is good. Just keep it up, brother. Um, those things happen naturally if you if people like to see you they'll come you know um, Those things happen for those people that do good, you know, so Here it goes start come on. Come on. Give me the bios. Give me the bios screen Damn it Bios 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 Come on, I'm trying to get the BIOS in the back before the OS comes on. Damn it, the OS came on again. Damn, I gotta be, I gotta format the damn OS, man. That's crazy. You have 212 subscribers Gamers now. Gamers Union, I have 212 now. Thanks. Oh man, that's that's awesome, man. That's a hard work. Lots of gaming, man. But you know what? Let me tell you something. Before streaming, before games, you know what comes first in your life? Don't forget your family. Don't forget your friends. Don't forget your school, you know, that's important, you know, don't think that you're going to be a gamer all your life, you know, because if this doesn't work out for you, 
tr you got to have a backup plan and your backup plan should be school first you know go to school in fact you know what you're going to do with your knowledge that you play the, all these games put it to use create games maybe you know maybe be a game developer you know it's a 25 billion dollar industry and it's going to grow even larger now with the esports they need a lot of creative people to come out with these games you know and gamers you union i'm not going to college what why not you should you should you should brother you should you should definitely go i'm telling you you should because um how are you gonna who's gonna who's gonna read the contracts if you ever become big man come on gamers union their youtuber streamer <laughs> no don't do that man it's not gonna happen sometimes man 200 subscribers is nothing don't get too crazy on that man you know this is not my I have a real job dude I got a real job and I got real bills I uh, this is a hobby what I do and, and, and what I stream and do stuff like this it's all for love man that's all it is you know I game a lot I do a lot of stuff like this gaming and hardware and all it's because it's my job this is part of my job I do stuff like this you know I work with computers so and it's it's not because a high school to be honest with you, nobody's gonna listen to you the only place you're gonna get a job is in some fast food place or somewhere else and if you think YouTube's the way to go and you're gonna be a gamer relax man you know it's it's like winning a lotto pretty much you know it's not gonna happen you got to really be really good to be a good streamer out there you know and I'm not a good gamer neither are you man I see some of your games they're not all that too you know you know but I'm not gonna criticize you you know you do what you want to do but I'll be honest gamers with you, union it takes time it takes time for everything it takes time for everything and, and like I said um, Joaquin, do you play any other games besides PUBG, Fortnite, or Black Ops? I play Have Black Ops. Have you ever tried GDA Online? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Unfortunately, um, I don't have GDA no more. I I have. I took it out um, because um, I, I had... Um, I didn't like it too much. You know, I liked the online. It was okay. But then you get bored, you know. Black Ops is going to be a badass game. That's a game to play. I liked it. That was very entertaining, but I hope they have Gamers more Union. maps. I have side jobs, RN. Oh, Stagger said that he likes Black Cox. I don't know what is that, Stagger. What, what do you like, Black Cox? What does that mean? That you? I don't know what kind of game you like to play with those, man. <laughs> Gamers Union side jobs and youtube rn and school yeah well you know what these side jobs could be a career for you you know you never know it's just like stagger dog woof woof lol oh, that's up stagger dog man sorry i had to block your, your comments because i don't, I don't we 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 support the L lgb clans and everything we're okay with that but that comment's a little bit way off right <laughs> So we're starting it up. I hope I get the BIOS on the back. I'm trying to get the BIOS to run because it's booting up and it is trying to repair itself. It can't because I have the BIOS. Um, I'm, I need a USB with the actual um, OS. I do have it somewhere here and I do have a key for it, but I'm trying to get it to run to in the background to run into the actual um, gamers union. System. I'm a landscaper pet services, car washing. Damn. What Stagger are you? Dog, woof, woof. Kiss my behind. Damn, what are you, Jamaican? Gamers Union, man, you work hard, man. You know what? Well deserved, man. Let me tell you something, man. Those that work hard, just work hard. But those that are smart and work hard, get far, man. So just think Gamers about that. Gamers Union, yeah, LOL. Yeah. Damn, man, you got... Hey, I'll tell you this, man. I need all three services here. I got a dog here, pet, pet, pet groomer, pet services. What kind of what kind of services are you, man? It's like sounds like prostitution services. <laughs> gamers Union, thanks. I'm just kidding, man. I'm messing with you, Gamers Union. What kind of pet services? What, what is it grooming? Gamers Union, lol. <laughs> pet services, you know. Well, I got the system to run. It's running right now. I'm trying to get Stagger to the BIOS. Dog, woof, woof. Need a hard drive. Oh, oh, good timing. Gamers Union, 
I make bank. With, with the pet services, yes. <laughs> I got your hard drive, Stagger, right here. My old PlayStation 3 hard drive. You want to know how many gigs is this? Let me terabytes it is. I think it's like two terabytes or a terabyte. I remember it's a. It's a I remember I added a lot Gamers of. Gamers Union. Dog waking poop clean up pet sitting dog bathing. Damn. Hey, Jax. Jax. Stagger dog woof woof. I'm coming over tomorrow. You're nasty. You are nasty. Come here, Jack. Come here. Here. Look at this big ugly dog. Come here. Come on, right here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Come on. Come on. We're gonna show everybody. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. This guy. This guy is a big beast. All right. He's like, what are you? Ninety pounds? What? What? Ninety pounds? He's like ninety. Stagger dog. Woof woof. Literally, I'm coming. Lol. This guy's a 90 pound beast. Um, I do brush his hair, but then he gets these, he lays down the grass, he gets these hairball things stuck in there. And um, he's a good dog. He's a really good dog. Huh. He's a good dog. Fucking ugly, filthy animal, huh? You're an ugly. I call him ugly. His name is Ugly. Look at this. Look at this. Show me your teeth, man. Oh. This guy, he's my, he's my buddy right now. You're my buddy, huh? Okay, now beat it. Now go, go, go. But go through this side because you're going to knock the cameras down. Go this way. Go get this way. Gamers go. Union. Go, go. LOL. Go, go. Go, move, move. Good boy. Before you knock my cameras down, fool. Damn. It's the only thing I hate. Dog hair. Anyways, let's go back to business. This is going to be for Stagger. How many gigs are we have, Stagger? How many gigs are we going to we're gonna be giving you here? Let's find out. This is an old hard drive um, from my PlayStation 3. How many gigs do you have currently right now on your PlayStation 4, Stagger? How many ter um, gigs do you have on your PlayStation? No comments? No comments. Alright, this one is about... I can't even say how many gigs it has. Oh, you don't want this one. You don't want this one. Stagger dog woof woof. 500 GB. 500 GB gamers union which microphones are good for background noise Did you hear my chopper fly overhead here because this is not good gamers union streaming Streaming oh stream. Well, I use the snowball you guys see it the snowball Microphone and I have a filter so I'm gonna be a suffering talkative like this and then see that that's my natural voice But if I if I remember my fifth I have a list but then I put this back on. I don't have a list. I'm just fucking with you, man. This is a filter, so it could it, it won't have the high pitch um, a noise in the background. Like when you do some, you cough or you sneeze, you won't hear it that much in there. It's a, it's it's it's, it's a spit blocker. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Something like that. Anyways, this is a snowball. Stagger dog woof woof. What is it? Six TB. LOL. No, unfortunately, it's not a six terabyte, man. I don't, I don't even know where I left the hard drive. To be honest with you, Stagger, I thought this was it, but this is my old PlayStation Three, a hard drive, and it's not, it's not even, it's not even. Uh... Gamers Union, should I start up with a Snowball or Yeti? Who? You know what? The Yeti is really good, but it is freaking big and bulk and big and solid. Don't get, don't get. It might be making you slobber, stagger. I'm just talking about the microphones, right? It's a, it's big and wide, and I like, and, and stagger likes the black one, and it's a good mic. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I, it's a good mic, the Yeti. I like the Yeti because it has echo effects, and it has, um, it has different tones on it too. Uh, on this one, unfortunately, this is a basic one. It's cheap and expensive, but you know what? It does the job. It does the job. If I, in fact, I could turn on the mics. Stagger on, dog woof woof. Fudge you. <laughs> in fact, I could turn on the mics on the cameras, and the cameras are pretty good too on the, some of the cameras. But this mic is is okay for like you know for on on one on one kind of thing. It's not a. It doesn't have mic settings in the back, so you can't use it um, amongst people. It would have to be Gamers directly. Union. Okay. The Yeti's good. But it's expensive. We're talking about over a hundred bucks, you know. So, 
it's one of those things that you you want to pay for it it's up to you um if you have the money and you say you work like 10 jobs then do it you know there we go that's why i didn't want to turn on i was pushing the wrong button delete 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 delete, delete. Come on, gamers come on. union it's fine I'm trying to get this thing gamers to union i am yeah if you're gonna buy the i'm trying to get this damn computer to boot up to the bios at least but i found out a problem i found out that i put the memory in stock all the way in yeah <laughs> but it's coming on now now i see the lights but it's gonna give me the blue screen right now i know it's gonna give me the blue screen because it's known to do that but it's okay it means it's working the motherboard's working um everything's working this is what i wanted to do just test out the system and make sure it boots up and it seems like it's doing its job uh, i got it to work right now let me oh the, the tv went off too no wonder i forgot that the tv turns off after uh after a couple minutes the tv turns off if it doesn't have it i have it programmed because i, I leave it on sometimes by accident and and i just want to make sure that the tv is not the problem here and there's a tv it's just turned on right now we're getting the screen coming on come on come on give me the bio screen come on piece of crap it is on all right let's boot it again because it didn't pick up the hdmi five four three two one turn it on again there it goes uh, f2 and delete i don't know which one it is f2 or delete on this one i just do both Oh, it gave me the damn screen again. This is what I wanted. didn't want it. See? I need the USB to reboot and to reprogram it. But I'll get it down. Jax, where are you going, Jax? Gamers Union. I want to use Post Malone music, but don't want to get copyrighted for the intro. Yeah, unfortunately, me too. I was going to say, you know, I was going to play some music. Somebody says something in the mic. Say it. Say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whisper. Say, Google, play some music. Just say that if you guys hear it. Google, play some music. Say it. Say it. You guys do it. You guys do it. Somebody type it in. I want to see you guys type it in. I want to see if this thing listens to you guys. I have a Google Home thing. And I want to see if it works. If you play some music or something. Nobody's going to type it in. Nobody's going to say it. Come on, guys. Say it, man. One of you guys type it in. I want to see if it even works. I'm going to be quiet for a minute. Um, boot it up, guys. Come on, say that, man. One of you guys. Gamers Union. Goof, play some music. No, not Goof. You know what I'm talking about. Say it loud. Gamers Union. Google, play some music. Nah, it didn't work. Hey, Google. What was the Dodgers scores today? Currently, the Dodgers are tied with the Rockies 2-2 two two in the bottom of the 7th. Okay, they're tied. Um, Google. Okay, Google. When do Rams play? On Sunday, the Rams will play the Chargers at the Los Angeles That's Memorial right. Coliseum at 105 p.m. Gamers Union, tie. Yeah, it's tie right now. Yeah, that's... Google, what's the Dodger score? Okay, Google, what's the Dodger score? Currently, they are tied with the Rockies 2-2 two two in the bottom of the 7th. 2-2. Two two. All right, so we got a successful thing going on here. We take this off. So I'm going to turn it off now. It's working. I'm going to disconnect all the stuff here. We got it. We got it successfully running. I just wanted to test this thing out, and it's running. It's doing good. Really good. We're going to bring in a couple of things I'm going to dismantle. I'm going to dismantle this sucker here, too, because I was going to use it as a computer hard um, desktop. Gamers Union. If I credit Post Malone, do I still get copyrighted? Yes, you do. Stagger dog. But you want to know something? Google it's a... play a a a a a a y some music. <laughs> yeah, but you want to know something? It's okay. You don't have the two thousand. You don't have a thousand subscribers for them to say something. So it's okay if you get copy strike. It's fine. Nothing will happen to you. Um, you you won't. You you still don't get paid either way. So there, it doesn't make sense to even have that. You know. So it's okay if you play some music. They'll give you a copy strike, but nothing happens. And they, and 
it just means that you're not gonna get paid but if you have the thousand subscribers you could apply for money on them and they could pay you but in, in reality you're you don't need to you don't need to you you don't need to do that so go ahead and play your music on the background and um, oh just to let you guys know I had this hacked I hacked this PlayStation this Xbox not place the Xbox a while a while ago and um, I played all these games on this one and in fact it has a lot of games on the hard drive too so um, I have all the freaking um, yeah I have all the freaking what do you call it all the halos in here the old school halos and but unfortunately I, I don't need this I'm gonna take it apart maybe use it as a computer it'll look nice in my desk if I have it as a computer you know gamers union I use non copyrighted music and credit the video to yeah, but you know what? Unfortunately, some of the stuff is like, it's it's out Gamers there. Gamers Union on my description. On your description. Damn, I can't even take this thing off. Oh, I see it. I see it. I don't even credit them. Fuck it. I'm like, don't even credit them. So the thing is, it's just a waste of time sometimes. They don't even know who you're going unless it's a copyright. But if you get free music, like I do, I get the free music, and then it's just like. They don't care, dude. They they don't really care. I mean, they 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 don't have time to go chasing somebody that doesn't have like a million subscribers or anything like that. They're they're chasing the big people, you know, the big ponchos and stuff, you know. So don't even worry about Gamers that. Gamers Union, LOL. Yeah, they don't chase after us little fishes, all right? Remember that. They chase after the big dogs. That's what they do. And um. I'm gonna use this as a chassis. I like this. I'm gonna remove all this crap too and use it and place my computer in there. I think I, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys prefer? I'm gonna ask for your opinion. I need your help on this one. So let me ask you one question. Which one should I use? Stagger dog woof woof. Later's fool talk to you tomorrow. I might pass by. Okay, what should I use? The PC as for the PC. The PlayStation 3 or, or the Xbox One? Oh the Xbox 360, I'm sorry, not Xbox One. Xbox 360 or a PlayStation. Uh, I kind of like the PlayStation. It's nicer, slicker, and it'll be a better chassis for a computer, for the computer to go in here. Uh, this one is a little too cheesy. You know, nothing shiny about it. Uh, what do you guys think? Where should I put the computer? In here or in here? I have two choices. Uh, I want your opinions on this, you know, your advice. Even though I won't take it, I still want it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Gamers right? Union. I need gaming monitors. Any suggestions? Yes, yes. You want to know which one's good, inexpensive, and really, I really enjoy. Gamers it. Union, black. Black. Yeah. Hold on. You want to see it? I'll show it to you right now. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna bring it over. You want me to show you a really good, really, really good monitor? You could get it in two colors, black or white. Gamers Union, yay. Okay, give me a second, let me bring it over. Actually, I won't disconnect anything here. I'll bring it over, I did a review already. Here it is. Kakeem, stick, stick with, with the, the George, George Foreman, Foreman PS3. PS3. Stagger dog woof woof. LOL. Okay, this one right here. Let me see if I, I can zoom out. But it's a flat. Gamers game. Union. Dang. This is a curved Samson monitor. It is really good for gaming. I, it's not a 4K, but it goes higher than a, a 1080. It goes to 20 by. I forgot the. It's the next version of it. It's close to a 4K. But it's not. It is really good. I really Stagger dog woof woof. woof. Can't, Can't hear, hear you. you. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that. All right. So this one is one of the best monitors I have so far. I like it a lot. And this monitor runs really good with gaming. I mean, the color and of it is really good. Now, Gamers Union, could you put the link? Sure, sure, I'll do that. In fact, I, I already reviewed it. If you could go back to my videos, it's in there. They make them in two colors, in black and white. Gamers and Union, how big? This is 32-inch. 
32 inch 32 inch curve monitor it, it plays everything that you can play right now it, it is 230 dollars i believe for this monitor um the bad con thing about this is that it doesn't have a bracket so you you go mount it you can't mount this one uh, but they do make an attachment that i purchased that i, I was going to review the other day but this one for gaming stagger dog woof woof the way he profit likes it big in your mouth. <laughs> Anyways. Gamers this one, Union. It's fine. This one's really good. It's it's really good. I recommend it. Anybody that's playing any games and stuff like that. This monster is, is, is perfect, you know, for you guys. Um, another thing. I mean, let me move this back. Let me put it here for now on the ground for now. I don't want to break it. I, I was going to do something with it. That's why. Anyways, we're going to end the show today. I'm going to bring the right tools tomorrow. I'll continue on removing the things. I'm going to start installing the OS on the hard drive. I'm actually taking it inside the house and I'm going to boot it up and put the OS on the actual hard drive and, and remove all this stuff. You know, I'm going to take out this hard drive in here too. I have a, a, a uh, it's not 120, it's 500 gigs in here. I could use that for something else. So gamers gonna, union. Okay. We're going to end the show today. But I'm going to come back in 10 minutes and I'm going to be playing Ring of Elysium or maybe PUBG. Depends on who is playing right Gamers now. Gamers Union, going to edit my vlog. All right, guys. I also post a new videos on uh, Upgrade, uh, my other video, my other show that I have. My tech show. That's my tech show I have. If you guys don't know Upgrade, I do have another channel and I have a lot of hardware in there. And that I talk about laptops. I open them up. I talk about the hardware. Uh, give recommendation. I do... Um, I do no gaming in that show. I just do pure computer stuff. Here, I kind of mix it up. I do it towards the gaming, you know. Gamers Union, what's Upgrade? Upgrade is my show. Stagger so. dog, woof woof. Might join you, fool. Okay, yeah. I have a. Let me give you the links if you guys want them, so you guys can check out my other show. And um, let me see. Here it is. It's called. I'm gonna give you guys the link so you guys can check it out. And 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 if you have time, you know. Hit me up there too. I'm, I'm, I do two shows. Gamers right? Union. Okay. I have two shows there. I have the upgrade show that I do pure computer stuff. No, com no gaming. It's all based on on computer and three dimensional programs. And I, I'm gonna start doing more of the 3D printing through there. More stuff like that. I, I do a lot of uh, things through that show too. So, it's one of the things that I like to do on that on, on that one show. But here it's all about gaming. It's all about fiction, comic books. Uh, modeling and all sorts of things. Models of um, I'm talking. I'm not mo me modeling, but actually models I like to uh, build. Um, so those are things I'm gonna be talking about. Motherboards, hard drives, and all that stuff about gaming towards gaming stuff is in this show. So I don't put them together because they're different separate shows. One is just for people that want to know about computers or maybe hacks, even Cody stuff and stuff like that's in there. But here. It's all about strict gaming towards the gaming stuff, you know. Anything you guys talk about, little hacks and stuff like that, boom, in here. Just to let you guys know, today, today, PlayStation, PlayStation, that's right, PlayStation 1 released the dates out for the PlayStation Mini that they're going to be selling. Gamers Union, okay. Now, the PlayStation Mini is going to be for 100 bucks right now. I, today... Order mines. It's on the mail. It'll be here December third. It's gonna be announced. It, they have a lot of games that they're gonna have on PlayStation. It's a little PlayStation Mini that they're gonna sell, just like the Nintendo, but it's a PlayStation. It's probably gonna be a hot item during the Christmas, and they're gonna sell out quick. So if you guys a recommendation, it's a hundred bucks. You know, you could play old school games on the system. They have a list of games that are coming out, but Gamers there's much Union. more coming out. What is it? It's a PlayStation Mini. It's a, it's a really s tiny little system, like exactly like the old PlayStation, but it's the first PlayStation. They have a lot of games. Gamers Union, in. is it the same games? Same games as what? There's a lot of games in there. And, it, and if you guys check it out, man, it was out today. You could pre-order today through Best Buy, um, GameStop, and some other store. Walmart, too. You could buy it online only right now. It's out on December 3rd. Now, on top Gamers of that. Gamers Union, new. Brand new, brand new. It's a little mini. It's a little PlayStation mini. It's not PlayStation 5. Now, on top of that, I got a bad news too also today. 
Unfortunately, I was expecting something to arrive on the 27th of, of September. Now, I got an email today that it was pushed back for Cocky. October. I give it a week before that thing is hacked. That's right. That's what I bought it for. So I can hack it. That's what I, that's the thing. I bought it for that. That's exactly what I bought it for. The, the, that, that was one of the things I want to do. Hack and put games in there. So unfortunately I got bad news today that, um, not really, not nothing bad for my family or anything, but it was bad news about that. I purchased something. If you guys are familiar with the miniature one up arcades, I end up buying one of those because I want to place one in here, but it's not going to be here until October 20th. They say they gave me a uh, day of October 20. I'm a little disappointed because I was expecting to come this month and show it to you guys and maybe even hack that shit out of that system too but it's not going to get here on time it's going to be delayed another couple of days and so right now i'm looking at different options so what to do for that one so i started a different project too and which is this one this computer that i have that i just showed you i just presented here is the next system i'm going to build for it but it's only going to be for retro gaming and it's going to be a, an arcade, a basic arcade. I'm going to do a big arcade with all the games that you can play in there. Now I'm putting a two terabyte hard drive and I'm setting up all the PlayStation, all the Dreamcast, all the Nintendos, all the Segas, all the, all the main games. When I'm saying main games, that means all the arcades, you know, like Donkey Kong, uh, uh, you know, if you guys are remember also um, Dragon Slayer and all that stuff, I'm going to have all that in there. I like those games. Any classical games are going to have in there. Today also, another thing came up today. The Nintendo Switch. If Gamers are, Union. How do I do gameplay on the Switch like gameplay? Easy. You need Elgato. You need Elgato. I, I do it with Elgato when I uh, when um, when Zelda came out. I ended up um, doing a stream, but then they, they monetized that. They told me to take it off because they didn't want any footage. Nintendo's a bunch of assholes. You know, they, they're, they're a bunch of assholes that they don't want to share shit. So fuck their asses, you know. I like Nintendo, but I still hate their asses the way they act. Now, one thing that Nintendo Switch was announced today, and I, Union. and I checked it I out. I have one. Okay, check this out. Today, they unlocked the the online courses, the online system where you could go Gamers in there and play Union. retro games. Never mind. Retro games. You go in the system and you could play retro games, but there's a fee for it. I believe they charge three ninety nine for a month or twelve ninety nine for a, a Two months. I'm not quite sure the prices, but they do charge a monthly fee. But you're able to play any of the classical list that the games that they have enlisted on there. So to download the application is free, but then you have to pay the subscription to play the games. And that was released today. In fact, some people were streaming that all day. IGM did that, and then I went on it. And you could do a 12 day, a 12 day free, free 12 day um, trial. But then if you don't Convert it to after the 12th day, they'll convert it to the 30 day automatically. That means you're going to get one month. They're going to charge you for that one month. They have Zelda, Super Mario Brother, uh, not Super Mario, the Mario Brothers. They have it. They have um, a, a, a Bomberman. They have a lot of classical games in there. If you guys have time, check it out, man. It's a pretty good system, but I, I don't want to pay Nintendo for shit that I shouldn't be paying. It should be free, to be honest with you. But their greedy asses want to do that? Fuck them. I'm going to start doing my own shit and tack the shit out of their system. So, anyways, that's it for the show today. I want to let you guys know, thank you very much, guys, for coming out here. And I'll come back in about 10, 20 minutes. And we'll come back and play Ring of Elysium, all right? See you guys, man. And any questions, you guys, post them up there. And, Chris, I got you an answer for your A50s headsets. If you see this video, hit me up. I got I got your answers how to fix your A50s uh, Astro A50s all right there's a bunch of issues with it that I I figure it out so if you're watching or you're listening in check it out call me hit me up or something hit me in the chat put it in the in the comments and I'll come back and hit you up all right thank you guys I'll come back in a couple minutes and uh, I appreciate you guys good night. <laughs>